Creating your first Angular 7 project from scratch, section 2. In this section, we'll start off by going through the process of creating our first new Angular 7 project with the new Angular CLI prompts. Then we'll explore a very neat feature called bundle projects and see how it can help us manage our JavaScript bundles more efficiently and effectively for production. We'll also take a look at TypeScript 3.1 and see what benefits and support it can give to the Angular. And then we'll examine the Angular 7's new hook called Do Bootstrap, which is used for manual bootstrapping the application. And finally, we'll check out the new enhancement that's been made to the URL segment to help improve Angular 7's routing system. Using the Angular 7 CLI to create a new Angular 7 project. The new Angular 7 CLI command prompts has been added to the schematics workflow. So here is a pictorial showing the two common command prompts during the new project creation. If you're a Vue.js developer, you know exactly how useful these command prompts are by letting you choose what to install or maybe what not to install during creation. So with the new Angular 7 CLI, you now have that capability to configure the schematics to suit your own needs. So let's head over to the Visual Studio Code and create our very first new Angular 7 project. Okay, here in the Visual Studio Code, I'm going to just collapse this version 6 here and I'm going to bring in the new 7 folder which I created earlier just so that I have the version 7 in the environment and because the version 6 is the version 6, I'm going to make sure I'm using 7 and I'm going to go to the command terminal. So click view terminal. All right. We're not using 6. I'm going to go back out and go to Angular 7. Okay, so I want to make sure that is still 7. So ng version should be 7. All right, so 7.0.6 already, right? And TypeScript 3.1, that's good. And the RxJS is still 6.3, which I think it's not updated, but that's still fine. Okay, so here we go. We're going to create a new project in here. And let me just clear this. And so I'm just going to call it my app and then the same idea here, my app, the V7. Okay, so ng new, just like before, right? And my app dash V7. And as soon as I hit enter, you'll see that it's going to prompt me for if I want to install the routing system or not. And so I'm going to say yes for this one, so I don't have to do that manually. If you don't do it, you have to manually add that yourself. So we'll say yes for that one. And the second prompt it asks you is which style sheet format you want to use. Okay, so you can use the up and down arrow keys to select those, right? So I can use the standard one, or you can use the SCSS which is very common, or this as either one is completely fine. So let's just say we want to be creative, we'll use this SCSS one, okay? So I picked that one. And those are the only two prompts that you get, okay? If you want to add more stuff to it, you can go into the schematics file, which is inside the module, and then schematics, and uh, I think it's like Angular, and then ng-new, and then schema.json. and you know, tweak it, modify, and change it however you want like to do it. So that should uh, give you those options. Okay, so it's installing right now, and we'll see how long it's going to take us to build this new project. Okay, so we got it. it took a while, but I think it should be ready to go, and I think everything is looks good here. So it took about. 433 seconds. That's almost like 10 minutes here, actually. Quite long. But anyway, so let's just see what's in there. Clear the screen here. And so there it is, my new application. And I'm going to go right into that. And we're going to go into and serve it and see what's like. All right. So while that's running, we can go into the file here and expect what it looks like. Pretty much the same, right? Nothing much changed, I'm pretty sure. 
some changes but nothing major in the angular json file we can see that there is there should be a new thing added so we have the schematics here okay let's add it the style sheet we chose was scss if you remember from when we first created the application we chose that and then down here there should be a, a bundle budget so here is the budget right here okay this is the budget it tells us the initial type and then the maximum and the maximum warning and error so if your bundle if any of your bundles is larger than two megabytes then it will give you a warning if it's more than the maximum five megabyte it will give you an error and not error but it's just a red message if it's smaller than it, it depends how, how you set it but um, it can also give you warning if it's too small so that's something new otherwise I think other things should still be the same okay yeah everything looks good here Okay, so that's the Angular JSON. The package would probably still be the same as before, just the new versions are here. And I think we're good to go. And so look inside the SRC folder. We see that the app. Okay, so here is our module. Looks good. At the component. Pretty typical, nothing uh, too interesting there. So let us see files. Okay, so let's go to the browser. All right, I'm gonna go into the local host, 4200. And there's our new application for the Angular 7. It looks just like before, nothing changed. I mean, it's pretty, it's seamless. So we'll look at the console here, and everything looks good. So it's all seven running, and then I think that's, there you have it, version seven.